the Boxer Rebellion became the first major war to erupt in the new century. Hostilities that had been simmering for decades exploded when China declared war against the foreign powers of France, Russia, England, Japan, Austria, Italy, Germany, and the United States. The beginning of the 20th century found the 2,000-year-old Chinese empire in decline. Foreign powers descended like vultures on what was left of the dying Manchu dynasty. The once powerful Chinese people fumed as they saw their land and protectorates taken over by foreigners. Hong Kong and Burma were lost to England, Korea to Japan, and Vietnam to France. As the power structure within the Manchu court struggled to maintain its tenuous control within China, foreign encroachment intensified internal political conflicts. What had been an ancient closed society was threatened by the corruption of progress and foreign influence. The Chinese became distrustful of foreigners and were greatly concerned by the influx of Christian missionaries who converted an increasing number of Chinese to an alien religion. A campaign of terror had begun the previous year when a secret organization called the Boxers began killing Christian missionaries and their converts in the northern provinces of China. The Boxers were a clandestine social society that had been in existence since the early 1700s. The group preached a mixture of Buddhist, Confucian, and Taoist ideas and was rapidly opposed to any change in ancient culture. Members practiced a form of shadow boxing and believed that followers of the cult were invulnerable. In May of 1900, the boxers killed four French and Belgian railway engineers. This was followed by the murder of the Japanese chancellor in Peking. The foreign powers responded by sending ships and troops to China. The imperial court had initially condemned the boxer violence and had sent government troops to quell the uprising. But the ruling dowager empress, Su Shi, was eventually won over to the Boxer cause as a result of foreign attacks on Chinese forts and the rumor that the foreign powers wanted to return her deposed nephew to power. On June 20th, the Boxers invaded Peking, brandishing spears topped with the heads of murdered missionaries. They laid siege to the foreign legations where almost a thousand foreigners and 3,000 Chinese Christians had taken refuge. On August 4th, an international force of 20,000 headed for Peking to rescue the besieged legations. Although the boxer troops in the Peking area were estimated at 360,000, the international force broke through the lines after two weeks of heavy fighting. 54 days after the siege began, the foreign legation was rescued. The imperial court fled Peking, and the boxers were eventually forced to surrender.